Are you the best outdoor security camera out there? Yes, you are. Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Paul from TechLink and I think I just found the ultimate security camera. This is the KNF Concept DQ201 and in today's video we're gonna have a look at some of the features that make this camera stand out from the others and also a few tiny things that could be improved. I'm not gonna go through all the setup process. You have a whole user manual in the box with full and easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect the camera. Basically, all you need is a Wi-Fi connection and a smartphone that runs on iOS or Android. Now, this is the first product I bought from KNF Concept. I was looking for a security camera and a friend of mine recommended me this brand. He's a photographer and used some of their products in the past and seemed really happy with them. Also, after spending a few hours on research trying to find the perfect security camera, this one seemed the only one to have all the features I was looking for, so I thought I should give it a try. Just like on the specs, you get everything they claim. The camera has a built-in battery with a 14,400 milliamps capacity, so you shouldn't run out of power no matter what. To put this in perspective, the battery capacity is 3 to 4 times more than the one of a modern smartphone. Obviously, you can't really measure the time you can run the camera on battery only, it depends a lot on the way you set your camera to work and also on the amount of movement it detects. But you don't have to worry about any of that thanks to this solar panel that you get together which continuously replenishes the power in the daylight. I've seen a few other cameras from different manufacturers that have like a built-in solar panel which is a really poor choice in my opinion. With this one instead you get a 3 meters cable which gives you a lot more flexibility so you can place the camera wherever you need it and at the same time you can optimize the amount of energy that the solar panel receives throughout the day. When it comes to storage you have a micro SD slot which supports up to 128 gigabytes or if you wish you can store your footage over their cloud service. Obviously, you would have to pay a monthly fee. I personally went with the micro SDs since I had a few I didn't use anymore. You can buy a 128 gigabytes memory card for around 15 to 20 pounds, so you don't have to worry about storage anymore. One of the things that I like the most about it is the pan tilt zoom feature which allows you to remotely control from within the mobile app a very large area. The sensor can rotate at 355 degrees horizontally and 120 degrees vertically in order to achieve a panoramic field of view. I'm not really sure about the zoom whether it's digital or optical. I tend to believe it's digital, but the quality seems pretty good. The footage is on 1080p, so that's high definition. And even on night vision, you get the same quality. Another great feature is the passive infrared sensor, which you're going to see in action in this footage where I tried to break into my home. This has been optimized to reliably detect people and large pets and you can also modify its sensitivity from within the app. The night vision is both black and white and color, thanks to the floodlights installed in the front of the camera. However, the color mode during the night only works if the strobe light alarm is active. The connectivity is made through your Wi-Fi, so if you are planning on buying more than one camera, before you install them, you need to make sure they are within your Wi-Fi range and they have a strong signal, otherwise they won't work properly, but this can be easily fixed. If the location where you want to place the camera is not within the signal range, you can buy a Wi-Fi extender, which will solve the issue. Also, 
a very important thing to take into consideration is the frequency of your Wi-Fi connection as the camera only supports 2.4 gigahertz so if your Wi-Fi works on 5 gigahertz only you won't be able to use it the app that controls the device is very user friendly so easy to install for people that are less tech savvy and you can basically control everything from within it you can share the device with other people you can check the battery charging level and modify the power saving settings modify the motion detection sensitivity you can take screenshots or record videos whenever you want you can even set time periods for when you want the camera to detect motion and record videos so basically everything you can think of is within that app there are however a few drawbacks that could be improved first of all the price which has been already taken care of I paid £150 when I bought my first one and now the price is only £120 which really makes it stand out from the others by offering amazing value for money. Another feature I've seen in a similar price range is the selective activity zone which allows you to receive notification when movement is detected in set areas. You don't have this option on this security camera but you can adjust the sensitivity of the passive infrared sensor in order to reduce false alarms. Also the app that controls the camera is only available on mobile devices that run on Android or iOS so you can't access it from your PC or maybe you could if you install an Android emulator but yeah that's something that could be improved but what do you guys think of this knf concept security camera let me know in the comments down below also if you already purchased this camera did you have any problems with it are there any other features you'd like to have on it i would like to hear from you in the comment section with this being said it's time to end this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see other similar reviews please subscribe to the channel and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time